breast cancer still is killing 40,000 American women every year. And throughout my career, that number hasn't really changed very much, which is shocking. One of the reasons I see that we're not making an impact on that large number is bad biology that we just really can't treat and we need to find earlier. And then the disparities in the U.S. that we really need to tackle. We're really trying to take biomarkers, demographic risk factors, EHR data, social determinants of health, genomics, leveraging those and machine learning to be able to predict breast cancer for women across their life course. We're also looking at um, Bayesian network models that can help potentially identify causality using the temporal data that can give us better idea of the important variables that are helpful in predicting whether someone will develop cancer or not. We're really conscious of the balance between early detection and over-testing. So I think that's another thing that machine learning can help us with. And another thing that I think the longitudinal and electronic health record data is really going to help us dig into. Cancer is so different from individual to individual. And at any one institution, there's not really enough data to be able to learn from them. We've been working in the workbench for probably, I'd say, a year and change. And it's been amazing because I'm used to seeing hundreds of cases. We're seeing thousands of breast cancer cases. Currently in the All of Us data set, there's six, over 6,000 breast cancer cases. About 4,000 of those are in white women and in about 1,000 are in black women and 1,000 are in Hispanic women. And that's going to enable us to tackle some of these disparities that we've seen in the past. So I think the risk-based screening and the advantage of the All of Us research program data is that we have all of those variables together and we can start understanding those interactions and understanding what it means to each individual woman. What I'd love to, to see is the information provided by the models of our system to individuals and their primary care physicians to empower them to make decisions that could help affect their outcomes in the future. We are not going to be satisfied if we publish a paper or get a grant. We really want to deliver these outcomes to our patients and our communities. I too am a participant um, and I consider it a, a huge responsibility and um, a commitment to be both a participant and a researcher. The All of Us Research Program is a true community. It's the community of participants, it's a community of researchers, and it is an unparalleled opportunity. I would encourage people to not be shy about reaching out and um, sharing your knowledge and asking others to share with you.